Hey guys, it's Lou Barton. How you doing? I know I've been, uh, especially with my video a day group, sending out lots of content and lots of information. And again, particularly for my video a day group folks, it's been like drinking from a fire hose because I'm throwing a lot of tools at you and a lot of resources. And what I like to say is find the shortest distance between you and a finished video. So you don't have to use all the tools. You don't have to know all the tools. You just have to really find your video sweet spot and those two or three tools that you use consistently and work with those. For me, those are Zoom, Loom, and Facebook Live. I can do pretty much my entire business with those three tools. We'll start with Zoom. Zoom is great for recording your screen, like I'm doing here, for recording you on camera, like I'm doing here, or for recording you and your screen at the same time. You can share your screen, you can do interviews, you can have a couple people on screen at the same time, obviously, you can actually have dozens of people on screen at the same time. So you can use it for mastermind calls, coaching calls, video interviews, Zoom gives you a nice clean MP4 recording of your video. So you don't necessarily even have to edit it, you can just use your video as is. I use Zoom to record PowerPoints and narrate PowerPoints that I turn into courses. I use it for video interviews. I use it for video teaching. I use it for masterminds. As you know, I use it for my group courses like video a day, and it's really flexible, very easy to use. And yes, you can also have those fancy schmancy backdrops. And uh, if you have a green screen, or really if you have any uh, screen, any blank wall behind you at all, you can go to your settings and choose a virtual background. And uh, it comes with a few, but the ones that I use, I have uploaded. So you can use a photo or a video. And again, as long as you have, I, I have a green screen, but if you have any kind of solid color, it should work. So there's my green screen. And again, I can use a photo for the background. They look pretty realistic. I get these photos for free on pixabay.com or unsplash.com. You can use a, a video background. You can upload videos and put those in the background. So it looks pretty realistic. Uh, animated backgrounds, whatever you want. You can get silly. You can do a beach. You can do a house. So that's your virtual background on Zoom. That's another nice thing about Zoom is you can look really professional by using uh, one of these photos as a virtual background. Uh, so that's Zoom, really flexible, really easy to use. I'm gonna go back to my screen share now. And that's what I use most of the time for recording a video or for doing a video interview and saving it as an MP4 and then using it to upload wherever, Facebook, YouTube, your own website or blog. Uh, Loom, on the other hand, at useloom.com, um, I use primarily for video outreach and for video emails. So you can see here just how often I use it by the number of Loom recordings I've done. This is also a free tool, but if you want the fancy smancy bells and whistles, it's five bucks a month, but still $5 a month to be able to do video outreach. Uh, I use this quite a bit one-on-one. -on -one or in small groups to follow up with people. You can start broadcasting from whatever screen you want. In this case, I'm on my illustrated book sales page, talking about that. You pop up here in the little dot, as you can see. This is just an experiment, so I wasn't really saying anything. Um, and once you're done with it, you can send it to Gmail, to one or more people, to Facebook, Twitter. You can embed it, you can get a link. And you can also do a little bit of minimal editing as far as trimming the video here. So I can start trimming and move this timeline from one place to another to trim the video. So you can do a little bit of editing on there, but it's really not meant for editing. And last but not least, with Loom at useloom.com, if you have the paid version, it's five bucks a month, you can also insert a call to action, which is really great because you can have this button redirect to any website that you want. So at the end of the video, you can say, hey, click the blue button to go to my website or whatever it may be. And you've got your lovely little call to action that will redirect people to that link. 
So that's Loom. Again, I use Loom mostly for one-on-one -on -one communication, video email, maybe quick video tutorials. For the most part, I use this one-to-one. -one. I don't use it one-to-many quite as much. Uh, and last but not least, you've got Facebook Live. Facebook Live, ah yes, very easy to do. Easier to do on your phone than it is to do on the desktop because uh, Facebook has made it a little bit more complicated to do it on desktop. Now you have to go to create a post, then you have to go to these three little buttons, and then you have to find live video. And then once live video opens, it's gonna ask you all these other questions that you don't really need to pay much attention to. You just need to make sure that you are um, on screen and that you're using the use camera button use camera and then the blue go live button is down here on the left um, you can actually schedule a live video for later on if you want using the schedule button and that's pretty much it for facebook live again facebook live uh, live in the moment more informal more casual uh, i call them come as you are parties here we are uh, on screen here and um, really it's a great way to do video kind of in the moment and on the fly. Um, again, it tends to be a little bit less pressure because it's a little bit more casual. Come back on screen now um, to the Facebook Live. Uh, very, very easy to do from your phone with just a couple taps, a little bit, a few more clicks involved if you're doing it from desktop, um, but it's pretty simple. And obviously Facebook Live is uh, for live video recordings that go directly to Facebook. And um, if you don't like what you shot, you can always delete it from your timeline if you want. Uh, I'll come back on screen here at the end. Now I'm back on Zoom with my virtual background. So that's the difference really. Zoom, very flexible interviews, um, screen recording, tutorials, um, and then Loom for one-to-one -one video email kind of things. And then Facebook Live, obviously for live videos. Keep it simple, find the shortest route between you and a finished video, find your sweet spot and stick with it. You don't need, need to use a million tools. And again, if you're doing video, if you're doing Zoom, you download it, you can upload it to YouTube or Facebook. If you're doing Loom, you can send it via email or upload it to Facebook. If you're doing Facebook Live, obviously you're going live to Facebook. You can go live to Facebook to a group or to a page. Um, and that's pretty much it. So those are the big three. Um, don't get too bogged down with everything else. Just focus on what you need to get those videos done. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. This is Lou Bortone. For more details and information, visit loubortone.com. Thanks, bye for now.